D365 Relationship Analytics takes your interactions with your customers and helps you make informed, data-driven decisions. Imagine this, your organization has hired a new assistant and they can instantly tell you the history your company has with any contact or account. They can show you exactly what your hourly investment is for any contact record. And they can give you an instant, useful summary of all previous customer interactions to help you see your next move. That's just the start of what implementing the AI-backed relationship analytics in Dynamics 365 Sales gives you. This technology is part of how our team at Cobalt has increased sales revenue by 106% over the last two years. Let's briefly look at how relationship analytics saves time and makes it easier to prioritize sales opportunities for your team. Today, we'll take you through some of the different ways that you can use relationship analytics. You'll get a big picture view of all of your open records, see how to identify critical sales opportunities, and even see how this AI technology will help you develop a sales strategy with best practices that work for your company. Setting up relationship analytics is straightforward in Dynamics 365 Sales. All you need to view insights will be a corresponding D365 sales license. Any person with a sales role will be able to see relationship analytics, so your whole team can benefit from the insights this AI-powered feature provides. Getting started really is as simple as clicking a button, but there are a few options you can use initially that offer a more granular level of control over who has access to relationship insights and what information the AI can provide to your organization. The AI will use what you've got set up here as part of its analysis when it goes through your historical and current data, so it can provide results that are dialed in for your team. Once you've set up the relationship analytics with the initial data and have determined your health score grading range, you're ready to get started. Basic relationship insights are generated out of the box and use emails and appointments that have been sent and received from Dynamics 365 sales. You can view record level analytics for individual records like leads and view graphs for each KPI, which can then be drilled down to view activities. Let me go to the sales hub and open a lead record to show you what that looks like. In this view, we can see all of the different widgets that give you insights into a specific record's relationship health, a timeline overview of relationship activities, and different engagement statistics related to the record. Another feature that can be found in the Relationship Analytics tab is the ability to compare the KPIs of an opportunity with similar opportunities. Our sales team at Cobalt loves this feature. As a seller, it's important for you to have a good understanding of what works better for a deal and follow the best practices for what has won deals in the past for your company. You can utilize relationship analytics within an individual opportunity record to see comparable information on the KPIs, graphs, activity history, and relationship health with similar deals that your company won. By opening the deals and looking at these relationship analytics, it's easy to see how to implement past successes with the deal you're currently trying to close. While the record-specific view is great for getting immediate insights into the health and summary of an individual record, sometimes you want a more general idea of how things are going. Enter the Relationship Analytics view. This view showcases the relationship KPIs and health for all your open records, such as open opportunities, leads, accounts, and contacts. We'll take a look at leads here for an example. You can see all of this information in the My Open Leads by Relationship view, which comes as a part of these sales insights. We can see here the basic information about the lead itself, like the name and the topic. But we can also see a lot more at a glance. Here's the relationship health state for the KPI, the relationship health trend, and a general overview of time spent by the team on the lead, including how much time they've spent engaging with the customer. This view will help you and your team make general decisions on how to prioritize what to work on next or where you should dedicate more effort to. Looking at the big picture is great to see patterns over time, but sometimes all you want to see is a quick overview to identify critical opportunities. This is where Relationship Analytics Relationship Pipeline view is a huge help. I'll show you how to view the pipeline and then dig into what this view means. First, I'll go to our list of open records and select Opportunities for now. And then I'll open up the My Open Opportunities with Relationship view. You might notice how this looks similar to what we just saw with leads, but here we can also see the insights for relationship health of our open opportunities. We can see the My Open Opportunities view also provides us useful information, but just slightly differently presented. 
Your team can use these views and more to gain different insights from relationship analytics. Instead of just looking at all of this data, however, let me click show chart to bring a nifty visualization onto the same page. I'll go ahead and select the right chart, which is the relationship pipeline chart, and it's going to show me a bubble chart. This gives us a quick overview of the health, close date, and estimated revenue for our upcoming opportunities. Each upcoming opportunity is plotted as a bubble on the chart, and the size of each bubble represents its estimated revenue. The higher up the bubble is on the chart, the better, or higher, the opportunity's health. Opportunities on the left are the ones that are expiring soon. Based on this information, we immediately see that the most critical opportunities for us to target will be the largest bubbles on the lower left corner of the chart, but the most promising opportunities are on the top. We can see a little more information about each opportunity if we hover over the bubble. Our team uses this every day because it's so easy to prioritize their focus for the day. The color of the bubble will show us relationship health. Green is good, orange or amber is fair, and red is poor. Now, this chart does rely on specific values being set in your records. If values are missing for some opportunities, you may end up seeing some gray bubbles located at the bottom of the chart. AI can do some pretty amazing things, but this is a good reminder to make sure your data is clean and up to date for the best results. I hope this was a helpful tour of the basic features and benefits of D365 Sales Relationship Analytics. I know these tools and the insights they automatically generate from your data will help you and your sales team's processes. These sales insights were a huge part of why Cobalt's team increased sales revenue by 106% in the last two years. Interested in learning how relationship analytics can help your team? Click the link below. We'd love to show you how Dynamics 365 Sales can take your sales team's standard processes to a whole new level. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel today.